Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields and a big thank you to all the new subscribers. Now I want to get to a few things, but I also want to look ahead. A big surge of moisture is coming in later this month, but in particular for July. I want to show you that July outlook uh, in a moment. First thing is first, watching this flare up right here. There's still a chance this becomes a tropical depression or tropical storm in the Bay of Campeche, western Gulf of Mexico. This will move into some of the same areas that were just impacted by tropical storm Alberto. And then we have some rain here south Southeastern Caribbean. Here's Barbados. Most of the rain this morning and last night has been to the south. Grenada, for example, not only did we have some rain, but we've had some thunderstorms around and we're going to see a lot more action sliding in as we go throughout the uh, week ahead. So, so plenty to uh, cover and uh, I'll touch on that uh, July outlook. Now, here's what's going on. Uh, you can see some scattered showers and storms Central America. A lot of the moisture getting pulled up toward the Yucatan, even through the Cayman Islands and Cuba. We've had some extra rain, but there's that next tropical wave. This is is kind of the backside of one and then another one that's going to move in. So near St. Vincent, the Grenadines, uh, Grenada. Let me zoom down uh, that chance of rain picking up in Trinidad. Here's Barbados. Barbados today, we're going to be on the edge of it. Uh, we'll see the rain chance for us in Barbados picking up over the next few days. Same thing in uh, St. Lucia. Most of the action today uh, kind of to the south, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad, and Tobago. That's where some of the heaviest weather's been. And here are those tropical waves still hanging together. This map looks a little bit more like mid to late July versus mid to late June. Everything seems to be running about a month ahead of schedule with the water temperatures, with the uh, atmosphere this season. And you see these pumping in. So we have a lot of moisture now, another round coming, another one here, another tropical wave off the coast of Africa. And then in July, bigger surges of moisture coming in. So let me cover that and get into that July outlook. And then I want to get into the models, the winds and the rain totals, plus the seas. Here's the outlook for July as far as the rain goes. You see this green shading here. Now, typically this time of year, we do get rain. We're in the wet season and we see a lot of moisture, but the green here is not only wet weather, it's above average rain. And that's pretty much all of us. So not only are we going to be wet, but we are going to be really wet at times. Uh, so you see across the Gulf and back through the uh, Caribbean. Here's a closer look. Here's Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Haiti, Dominican Republic, uh, Puerto Rico. We swing back toward uh, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica. So uh, all of us above average rain right through the Bahamas. Now this time of year, that, that's an issue. We need the rain for sure. Of course, we need to stock up on the rain this uh, time of year. But with that said, with the water temperatures in the environment, uh, we're going to see some development, of course, as we uh, head through the month of July. And you see these water temperatures, and these are more like what we would have in late July. You see some of these 30-degree uh, markers in Celsius popping up right through the Bahamas, near Cuba, near Haiti, over toward, uh, say, uh, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Antigua, Barbuda, 30 degrees Celsius, or 86, 87 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very warm. So two things in play. We're going to have a surge of moisture coming in, very warm water temperatures. I'm not seeing a ton of dust out there. So uh, as the wind shear starts to relax some in July, that will allow some development uh, to uh, start to uh, pop up further in the Caribbean. So I'll be watching out for any signs of uh, developing tropical storms. It is going to get more active and it does look like a wave that's not out there now, a tropical wave that's uh, not even off the coast of Africa, uh, will come in here late month, early into uh, July. And that one, I was talking about this in yesterday's video, that one looks like it may have some some potential of developing as it moves into the Eastern Caribbean and then kind of lifts up a little bit more toward the West Northwest. So strong waves are coming in right toward the end of the month. So especially later next week and as we get into early July, there could be a spin up or at least a strong tropical wave that could lead to flooding. So there's that area right there that's pulling on shore in Mexico. Uh, Mexico, the good news is we're finally starting to get some rain. Still some spots uh, need it, but we are starting to get some rain. You see this rain here that came out of Central America. My last Last check, uh, uh, over 30 people, I think that was my last count, I think it was over 30 people have died in parts of Central America because of this flooding, and that's why we've been highlighting uh, together on this channel for the last uh, two weeks. And you see here, this working back in, this may get a name, this may work its way into Mexico as a tropical depression or tropical storm. If it becomes a tropical storm, barrel, that's the next name on the list. And you see it here, so this is going to be moving in today, and this will lead to some mudslides, especially right when it hits the higher terrain 
terrain where we had all that runoff from Alberto. So northeastern Mexico, thank you for getting the word out about this. We have another big round of rain moving in today into tomorrow. Could be a tropical storm, but regardless, uh, we're going to have some heavier rain. And you see the rain uh, near Belize and uh, the Yucatan. And then by tomorrow morning, whatever this system is, this will work its way in extreme south Texas, some rain. But you see here and across Mexico as a whole, as we work our way through the day tomorrow, that rain chance is going to be higher. But in particular, eastern and northeastern Mexico, uh, that chance of flooding and that chance of mudslides right where you hit the uh, higher terrain. And there's that surge of moisture still in the Western Caribbean, just kind of feeding all of this toward the Bay of Campeche and Mexico. Higher uh, chances of rain. Cayman Islands watching over toward Jamaica and Cuba. You see that rain there. And then here's that rain for us in the southeastern uh, Caribbean. Trinidad and Tobago, our rain chance is going to be higher. Guyana and Suriname watching out for some flooding. So this is our Sunday. And unfortunately, the same thing for some of us because this is going to lead to flooding. Watching the Yucatan, heavier rain at times. Cayman Islands, Cuba. And then this here pumping in. And you see Barbados. That rain chance is going to get higher even in St. Lucia starting to move in. And then by Monday, Monday, there's the other tropical wave that will be moving in. And look at us in Guyana and Suriname. Uh, we're going to see some heavy amounts of rain, more flooding. Let me know in the comments. And then here in the Bahamas on Monday, some of this moisture that's been riding through Cuba and the Cayman Islands will start to lift to the north out of Haiti and the DR, Turks and Caicos, and lift up toward the Bahamas. So in the Bahamas, our rain chance is going to be higher uh, late Sunday into Monday. Now here's that spin I'm watching, and you can see here kilometers an hour and miles per hour. Some of the winds in this, some of the gust right around 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. It's that spin there that may briefly develop into a, a, a tropical storm, but either way, regardless of that, the rain, the big issue here. So this will start to work in tomorrow morning, the, the center of that spin in the uh, Western Gulf, and then that will push into Mexico. And then after that moves in, drawing our attention here, some gustier winds with these tropical waves. Since the new tropical waves coming in will be stronger, not seeing any signs of organization now, but since they'll be stronger, more in the way of rain and storms, we're going to see some gustier winds. This is Monday afternoon. Some of the winds. Uh, you see a little white showing up there too, where we could have some gust around uh, 60 to 80 kilometers an hour. So some gustier winds, 40, 50 miles per hour moving into the central and Western Caribbean. Now look at the ABC Islands, Northern Venezuela, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. We're going to see uh, some gustier winds as we get into uh, Tuesday with a tropical wave passing by. Hopefully that will bring us a chance of a few showers. But here are the elevated seas, about two to three and a half meters here. Here's our scale in meters here. So we're running at about 11, 12, 13 feet. And then a couple other pockets of some uh, choppier seas, Central Caribbean, and then closing in on the Bahamas. But this here, that's kind of the highlight for today for the uh, elevated seas, especially where we have that tropical, what look a tropical system, almost a tropical storm moving into Mexico. And then this is tomorrow. So our Sunday, uh, things try to settle temporarily on Sunday. But then we flip over into Monday, the Atlantic water is building. And then you see these areas here. We have one tropical wave that is going to increase the seas. Heads up. Uh, this is Tuesday across the Caribbean and then swinging back to the open waters of the Atlantic. Things are going to get choppier. So I was trying to get my boater sailors that heads up. Keep me posted on what you're seeing as you're uh, out and about too. But uh, things will be more elevated for the week ahead because we have the surge of moisture coming in and more tropical waves. So we had Alberto. The next name on the list is Barrel. We'll see if that system near Mexico gets a name either way. Uh, Beryl, Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, Francine, Gordon. Those are the next names on the list. But Northeast Mexico off the scale again, we're going to see some spots over the next three days of 300 millimeters of rain or 12 inches of rain. And that's why I mentioned right where we hit that higher terrain as you work your way just inland. That's where we're going to have a life threatening uh, flood situation with a potential of more mudslides, more rock slides, watching the river crossings in sharp runoff, scattered rain and storm some areas of higher totals just it just kind of depends on where it sets up Guatemala El Salvador uh, interior sections of Honduras and then back toward Belize and the Yucatan here's Nicaragua uh, Nicaragua Costa Rica and Panama you see some spots of 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain so we'll see isolated areas of flooding that will continue then we'll get a surge of moisture next week in the Bahamas but this here scattered areas of rain and storms Cayman Islands we're going to be on the edge of rain not all of it's going to be heavy so 50 millimeters or two inches of rain in the next uh, few days 
In Jamaica, we're going to get a few storms uh, that could give us 50 millimeters or two inches in some spots. Not for all of us. Same thing, Haiti, the DR over toward Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Some of those scattered showers that will be around. But the thunderstorms and those kind of daytime and afternoon uh, storms, uh, that's when we'll get some of those loftier totals. Anguilla, St. Bart's, Antigua, Barbuda, not as much through Guadeloupe. But from uh, Dominica South, we'll get a slightly better chance with some of the higher totals. And here's Barbados. I'm watching all this moisture off toward. Uh, the uh, south and east, and that's what will be sliding in for the week ahead. But you see some of the scattered rain that could lend itself in uh, Trinidad uh, to 100 millimeters or four inches of rain for a three day total. That's not all at once, but for a three day total. And that flooding threat higher parts of Venezuela, Guyana, and Suriname with all of this moisture pumping in, watching out for some of the uh, flooding, not just today and through the weekend, but all the way into next week. So we have this one spin here. Now the fronts this time of year are mainly up to the north, so it's not going to grab systems and kind of move them up to the north. That's why I'm watching all of this moisture that's going to be moving back uh, from Africa across the Atlantic. That's going to slide right in to the uh, Caribbean over the next uh, month or two. Now, northern tiers get toward the Atlantic region of Canada. Uh, the pattern is going to get more active. This is later today. Scattered showers moving from the west. It has been so very hot. There's been some record heat over the uh, past week. And now we're going to be watching things, uh, very, a uh, very unstable atmosphere with the fronts. I showed you the fronts up to the north. Well, that's going to slide in some moisture. Our Sunday afternoon coming out of uh, Quebec over toward uh, New Brunswick. You see that higher chance of rain over toward Nova Scotia, lifting toward uh, Newfoundland as we work our way Sunday into Monday. You see the higher chance of rain as we get, especially as we progress through the weekend into early next week. So Jamaica, we're looking at scattered showers and storms. Montego Bay, Falmouth, we may get a, a couple popping up in the next few days. Cayman Islands, rain chance stays elevated as we go through the weekend. Let me know what you're getting or not getting. And Trinidad and Tobago, we're going to see anywhere from a 50 to 70% chance of rain, not just this weekend, all the way into next week. And that could give us some areas of flooding. The reservoirs are still down. We actually still need some rain, but when you get it kind of all at once, that leads to some of those flooding concerns. Barbados, there's our uptick Sunday and Monday. 50% chance of scattered showers and storms. St. Lucia, 40% chance today, up to a 50% chance for tomorrow. And there's that higher chance, which already panned out. Uh, we had some of the rain and storms around in Grenada. Uh, we we're expecting a very, uh, uh, not a very wet finish to the week, but a more active finish to the week. And that's exactly what we're having. St. Vincent of the Grenadines, we're going to watch out for a 60% chance of rain tomorrow. Martinique, too, a 60% chance tomorrow. We get back through uh, Dominica. Rain chance, about 50% Sunday and Monday. We could get get some scattered showers and storms a little bit less as we get toward Guadalupe and then a little bit less than that. Antigua and Barbuda, 30% chance tomorrow and a 30% chance tomorrow. St. Kitts, Nevis and Montserrat. Rain chance tomorrow, though, in Guilla and St. Bart's. There could be a little more moisture, so about a 40% chance. And an isolated shower, St. Martin, Seba, and Stacia. Rain chance holding at 50%. Some scattered storms possible across Puerto Rico. 30 to 40% chance U.S. and British Virgin Islands. And then the Bahamas, as I was showing you Monday, some of that moisture is going to lift in a higher chance of rain early next week. And that includes the Turks and the Caicos. A 60% chance of some of those thunderstorms watching out for areas of flooding in the Dominican Republic today and we could see some runoff, some high river rises in parts of Haiti the next few days if we get some of those storms around. Belize, rain chance has gone down some, but I want to caution, it's gone down for some of us. Northern zones, better chance of rain. Where the rain sets up, we are going to have that flood potential. So let me know your location and what we've got going on across uh, Belize today. 10 uh, to 20% chance the next couple days in Aruba. Trying to uh, tick up some as we'll see those tropical waves moving across, but Guyana, I've been highlighting that. Suriname, I've been highlighting that with that higher flood threat. Uh, rain chance in Cuba, especially western and central zones, a 60% chance. Costa Rica and Panama, about a 50 to 60% chance. Nicaragua, 50% chance. But like Belize, where we get it, we could get some flooding. Same thing in Honduras, 50, uh, 40 to 50% chance through the weekend. Guatemala and El Salvador, where we had big issues with the flooding last week, still scattered to widespread rain and storms. In Mexico City, it's going to stay active with that moisture that's moving in. It's not not all day rain, but moving in from the Gulf of Mexico and the Yucatan, we have been active with those areas of flooding. Colombia rain chance about 30%, Northern Colombia 30 to 40% chance in Venezuela in one of our more settled spots, so to speak. As we get toward uh, Bermuda, things are looking good with plenty of sunshine. So July rain surge is on the way, a very active pattern. 
That means we're going to get flooding, and that's what I'll be tracking. We get that this time of year in spots, so I'll be highlighting where that's going to be. Water temperatures are very warm. That could lend itself to some development later this month or early July, but I'll be monitoring the steering patterns to see if things kind of want to stay away or things are going to kind of be uh, working in. June, on average, uh, we get one named storm. We've already had one, and we'll see how the rest of the month goes. So thank you for sharing this channel, and have a good rest of your day.